All right, this is Austin at the Best I Can Afford Antiques channel. Um, man, back to weird stuff, huh? So, the wife and I went out antiquing this weekend, and uh, I saw this. I saw this panel of 35 buttons. I looked at it for a second, it was $30. I was like, oh my god, $30 for buttons. And then I started looking at the buttons, and I was like, these might be the best buttons I've ever seen in my life. So what we're going to do is just kind of quickly go through each of these buttons. And they appear to be, uh, they all appear to be antique. They're all stitched on here with a different thread and stuff. They're all, uh, mostly little, uh, two button jobbers. Or two, uh, it's like one continuous hole. Oh, why? Why you wouldn't be a jerk about it? All right. Whatever. So let's just look at these bad boys real quick, because I think these are like the best buttons I could have afforded. I'm not exactly sure what um some of these techniques are called. Like obviously that's pierced and there's like a mirror or something in the back of it. You can see it as it turns up and shines. In fact a fair few of these have that. Let me uh let me point this light straight down so we're actually getting some uh some pretty genuine brightness on it. Isn't that crazy? Look at these buttons, dude. I mean, yeah, when I started an antiques channel on YouTube, I wasn't exactly expecting to buy a to buy a whole boatload of buttons here, but but man, if those aren't the fanciest buttons I have ever seen in my life, like down to the last one too, like uh these are better than any button I have ever seen. Now I've never seen uh, you know, an emperor's robe. I've never I've never looked at their buttons. But what do you think about these? I mean these are actually pretty incredible, huh? I'm pretty sure they must be antique. If I had to guess they're uh like Victorian. Uh, if I'm using that term correctly, somewhere in the eighteen hundreds, um maybe like continental European but yeah, I mean, look at the design on that one. What a wild thing. Does anyone know more about these buttons than I do? Is that a small bug? There's a small bug there. Hold on. Well, I'm not just going to murder him, am I? So yeah, I mean, these are the craziest buttons I've ever seen. I have to assume that maybe even like one of these is worth $30, which is what I paid for the whole little deal. <clears throat> but you know, it's not best I can afford Asian antiques, it's the best I can afford. And and man, these buttons are incredible, aren't they? Are you guys enjoying this at all? Because these are actually like pretty, pretty spiff buttons, huh? This one here is hand engraved. I mean, that's pretty. That's pretty incredible. I'm wondering if some of these don't have like silver. Or... I'm gonna have to cut them off this board and look at them all individually. Look at that red and black. That one's cool looking. Like really. And that is a. <laughs> it's such a weird thing to say, but that's honestly such a handsome button. Like, somebody really put in some effort on all of these. They're ridiculous. That one's got, like, pearlescent in the background, so probably mother of pearl background. I and mean, that's just wild. Sort of like rope wire. I've seen some uh, cloisonne that kind of had wires like that. I mean, God, these are so cool, aren't they? I think I should make uh, best I can afford antiques keychains out of them. And you guys could buy one of these buttons and have a little uh, best I can afford reminder with you. Always be looking out for something weird and and well done. I mean, God. This one almost looks like it has like a gold screen under it. No, nope, it's the wrong one. You see that? There's like a, I don't know if it's a gold screen or, 
or what exactly that is, but that is, what an incredible button. Now, what a weirdo, what a weird thing to say, you know what I mean? But, but really, these are amazing. Look at that work and detail that went into these. Oh, that one might be inappropriate for YouTube. I'm not sure. I'm sorry, I'm probably not even talking loud enough for you guys, am I? Microphone's like a foot and a half away. But yeah, that's my uh that's my new button collection. What do you guys think about that? Never thought you'd see a button collection on this channel, huh? Probably never thought you'd see a button collection. Who collects buttons? This guy. This <laughs> is this guy. Okay. You know what? I wanna I wanna get this straightened out. I thought I had it all adjusted before I even started making this. But yeah, what do you guys think about my buttons? Did I do the math right? That'd be embarrassing on the internet, huh? Yeah, 7 times 5? Yeah, we're good. 35 buttons. And yeah, down to the last one. I think they're all better than any button I've ever seen. So, maybe you know more about buttons than I do. Feel free to comment and tell me uh, how I did on this. You know, like I said, $30, I paid less than a dollar for each of these buttons. I'm, I'm assuming at least one of them's worth like $10, you know, like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know enough about buttons, but when you see something that's that well made and, you know, weird and obscure, you probably just want to go ahead and grab those. And that's what I did. And, uh, you know what? We'll probably do an update video at some point in time and see if any of these are worth any money or anything. My God. Look at that. Look at that bad boy. I mean, what an incredible thing. I think a bunch of them have like mirrored backings and stuff. Screens behind them. I mean, these are really like little, little works of art. Yeah, tell me what you guys think. Uh, if you haven't added me on Facebook or Instagram, I'm going to add a bunch of pictures of all the stuff I bought this weekend. Um, it's a little ridiculous. <laughs> it's really it's really a little ridiculous uh, yeah stay tuned I'm just gonna keep making videos we'll see what we see this is awesome the best I can afford antiques channel hope you like my buttons feel free to press any of the buttons on this page you know thumbs up like subscribe all that stuff I'd, I'd love to I'd love to have ya <laughs> we'll talk to you later